Hey you guys, welcome and welcome back to the underground. We are going to get into another love reading for you guys to see what the messages are. I felt like I was off center. I am, listen, never mind. Thank y'all for being here. Be sure to like and subscribe to continue to catch the vibe. Let's see what the messages are, you guys. Get in the comments. Put any of your favorite color hearts in the comments. If the reading is resonating, okay. Let's see. What does the collective need to know? Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors of the highest vibration, Father, Mother, God, when it comes to love. What does the collective need to know when it comes to love, spirit? Commitment in reverse, child. Dun, dun, dun. No, I'm just playing. I want you to be a part of my future. So someone may be a part of your past or you may want someone to be a part of your past and like be gone, poof, be gone. Your breath is too strong. Wait, come back. I think I got a Tic Tac. <laughs> okay. Nah, but there's chemistry here with you and someone, but they don't want commitment. I have never felt a passion this intense. So somebody feels a lot of strong feelings for you, but they don't want commitment. Forgiveness. I'm struggling to get over the past. And I was just talking about the past. So you could be dealing with a person who doesn't want commitment because they can't get over their past. Okay. But they feel chemistry for you. Yay. What else for the collective? Neglected. I failed to give you what you needed. Mm-hmm. Somebody just didn't have it together because they couldn't get over the past. Forgiveness again. I don't, uh, I, runner, I don't want to run anymore. It's just, you know. <clears throat> Being away from you is causing someone to realize that they struggle to get over their past. And then the, that they neglected you and ran away. What else? Ooh. What? They want you to forgive them for their absence. All right. Two, two, two on the timer. Someone feels like you may be struggling to get over the past. I feel like someone misses being around you, but they don't want to commit to you. And therefore they neglect like what you need. Mistakes. I wish I could write my wrongs. Yeah, they want you to forgive them. Reminiscing, I miss our inside jokes. Yeah. You could be an older couple, more mature couple. Um, I'm getting like, I wanted to say 50s and 60s, possibly also 40s, but like 50s and 60s. Uh, or possibly... There could be someone's parents involved in this as well. Yeah. Someone's parents could be involved in this situation for sure. Somebody could be feeling like they lost their wife or their husband or their spouse because they neglected them. That's what it feels like. You could be that person. Either feeling neglected or feeling as if you neglected someone. But either way, it, it just feels like for you guys, collective, the fact that you're not in someone's life or the fact that someone does not have access to you in some way, shape, or form. It's like they're thinking about the mistakes that they've made. Like they, did, they feel like they didn't do as much as they could have done. Or should have done. All right. So what is the situation for the collective when it comes to love? Ace of Wands. You could have met someone new, moved on, okay? Or you're you're striving to reach a goal that doesn't involve this person. Yeah, Six of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. You're giving your attention to something or someone new. That's basically what this is. You, 
you may be trying to start over with someone from your past, reconcile with someone from your past, talk to someone from your past. Like this could be like two past people and one of them is more recent than the other. So it could be a situation where you have a person who is leaving your life. Ooh, child. You have a person who's leaving your life or you're like just recently kind of breaking up with or cycling out of your life. And then there's someone from like your further back past that comes back around and like you guys possibly like meet up. I feel like if you are dealing with somebody from your past, it's a secret. No one really knows. Um, so the person who just recently cycled out <clears throat> feels your energy like pulling away and they feel like you're giving your energy to someone new. And if it's someone far enough back, it could feel like it's new. Uh, this could also be a childhood dream or a wish that you had that you felt like wasn't going to come true. But now it's like the opportunity is presenting itself. Okay. Doesn't have to be an old person. It could just be, it's something that you're revisiting from the past. Okay. What's the Ace of Wands? Nine of Wands. So, yeah, it's like you're fighting for something that you want. You're fighting to reach a goal that you have. You're putting in a lot of energy, time, effort. Well, that would be more like pinnacles. But I feel like because it's the nine of wands with the ace of wands, it's like you're putting in a lot of energy, time, effort, possibly money to fulfill this passion that you have. Some of you are feeling just really like disheveled. <clears throat> you're just feeling like, you're not really excited about what's coming when it comes to love or you're not really excited about a new situation or a new person. Some of you have met a new person and you're cycling someone out and they're basically becoming your past. But if there's anyone new that you've met recently, it's like you aren't very excited about it. I feel like you guys aren't, really getting what you want from the connection already and it, it's coming across to you that this person doesn't want commitment it's coming across to you that maybe they're not over an ex or something you may see someone has a mistake what's the ace of wands some of y'all may have had a one night stand you feel like it was a mistake maybe the one night stand turned into a situation ship you feel like it's a mistake the ten of swords Yes, baby girl. I just feel like you guys, you, you have 10 wands out here. You have 10 swords. I just feel like you guys are like beat up, beat down, tired. Okay. And I'm not saying how you look or like what you believe about yourself, but it's just kind of like a, an energy of you just not really wanting to be involved with people. You're very cautious about dealing with a new person because they remind you of your past. Ten of cups at the bottom, a lot of ten. So October could be significant. September and October are very significant. Things are just not, I feel like things are just not in the best place right now. For you and you don't want everybody in your business or there's a situation where you just don't get a good vibe from someone and you don't want them to ruin something that you already have going on. It's kind of like a privacy thing with the 10 of, yeah, the magician, exactly. Ace of cups at the bottom. So you feel like in order to have a victory when it comes to what you want, that you have to kind of like create a facade or an illusion. It's like a hologram. I keep bringing up holograms. I don't know what that's about. A holographic image. Like maybe this is a mask that you wear, or this is like a way that you protect yourself, like a protection mechanism, but it's like a hologram. So either your personality, your demeanor, your conversation is holographic when it comes to like people who you're dealing with, because you see them as opposition or you see them as adversaries or you see them as someone who could possibly ruin what you have going on so you have to portray yourself in a certain way so that they don't know exactly what you have going on and they can't affect your energy in a negative way 
Or it's like, that's what you're doing when it comes to your situation. I don't know how to explain it, but that's what it is. It's like you're showing people one thing with the Ten of Cups and the Magician, but really behind it is the Ten of Swords, Nine of Wands, Ace of Wands. Like people probably think that you're a certain way or this could even be this person. Like this person could definitely feel like when they look at you, they may feel like you do something or have something or you are something that you're actually not, but it looks like you are. So therefore people are drawing their own conclusions when it comes to like approaching you or carrying on conversation with you or something like that. I don't know. A lot of you feel like right now, love doesn't really serve you. You're kind of like separating your emotions from, ooh, yeah, Queen of Cups, Six of Swords. You're ready to move on from something. Death card, you're ready for this change to take place. Because you know, you know that once you overcome whatever this is that you're trying to overcome, or once you get over this hurdle, or once you accomplish this goal, it's like you know that things are going to be better for you, and you're going to be in a better headspace to actually like deal with people, be with people, things like that. Okay, who's coming towards the collective when it comes to love? Four of Pentacles, could be a Capricorn, possibly Taurus or Virgo, somebody who's financially unstable, somebody who's a little bit possessive. You hear the alarms, the sirens. This could be someone who is stuck. They're holding on to the past. That's what the Four of Pentacles is. They may even wear old clothes. You may see them have old name brands on. I'm hearing FUBU, Sean John, Jabot. Like, <laughs> what is this? I don't know. I don't know why I just named a bunch of black brands. But, like, that's what it feels like. It feels like somebody wearing some, like, uh, Ed Hardy. You know what I mean? Or they got on old two-piece suits from, you know, 1975. They they doing something like that when it comes to their actual, like, clothing, their attire. They hold on to, like, old clothes, old name brands, something like that. If you see this person with a Gucci bag, it's probably from 10 years ago. That type of energy. And then I feel like this person is kind of financially unstable, I feel like they're closed minded and they're keeping some things secret because the two of wands and the high priestess came out. Your intuition is going to tell you what this person is planning behind the scenes that they don't want you to see. All right. <laughs> they are closed minded though. Whoever this is is stuck in their ways. They're closed minded. They're outdated. And I'm not saying this, I'm definitely not a name brand person. I do not care, okay? But it's like, it doesn't feel like you care either. It feels like they care. They want to have the name brand. They want to have the designer. But because they're in a financially unpredictable situation or a financially unstable situation or a financially financially impractical situation, they can't have the designer or the name brand that they want. So they hang on and hold on to the old name brand and designer that they had years past, you know, that is now out of style or out of season or outdated, which then tells you that they are someone who cares about that when in reality you're not someone who cares about that but the fact that they make it so apparently clear that that's what they care about makes you realize it that's what it is what's the four of pentacles the death card <laughs> yeah this person is going through a transformation as well or they're going through some type of changes in their life but it's like they're not accepting it and you are and you feel that Three of Pentacles, Four of Cups. I 
I feel like whoever this is coming towards you, excuse me, whoever this is coming towards you, it's like, they may even be watching you build something or watching you do something with your life that they're feeling left out of. This could be a situation where somebody's work is changing or somebody's like finances are changing and they don't like it. What's the four? Okay. The three of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody's job is changing or somebody's financial situation is changing because of their work changing. Or something about your job is changing and they just aren't really like happy about it. Tower and the three of cups. Yeah. It kind of feels like all of a sudden something is happening for you and it's not happening for this person. Hold on. My bad. Somebody may like to dance. It's kind of like all of a sudden something changes for you and this person wants to keep you close so that you don't escape them, so that they don't lose you. What is this person's intentions? Six of Wands. They want to get your attention. And I feel like they want to be successful. Somebody may be a clout chaser, though. Depending on what you do for work, just be mindful of why someone is attaching themselves to you or trying to be around you. Capricorn energy strongly, Scorpio energy. Uh, I feel like whoever this is is trying to hold on to some type of fame or recognition or literal clothing items, things like that, that they had in the past. They may drive like an old Mercedes or an old BMW. Like that's the type of vibe that I'm getting from this person. Like somebody that had money 10 years ago, but they don't have money now. I don't know why I'm getting that. King of Wands and the Four of Wands. This could be an Aries or a Leo as well. Why am I doing this? Like the camera's up there. Somebody wants your attention. I feel like somebody wants to have success when it comes to this relationship. But what success do they want? What is the six of wands? Ten of pentacles. It's coming off as like them wanting long-term success, them wanting long-term like stability with you on the surface. But it kind of feels like underneath the surface, there's something else going on. Yeah, king of wands again and the judgment card. I feel like this person wants you to see them as someone who's worthy of a long-term connection, a long-term relationship, marriage, but then the commitment card is in reverse. So that's the part that's like, okay, there's something going on underneath the surface because the first card out was the commitment in reverse. So someone is definitely, it's like someone's trying to get your attention. Someone wants you to see them as someone who you can keep around for a long time, or they want to keep your attention for a long period of time, but they actually don't like, it's like they're forcing it. Ten of Wands. I feel like they want to benefit off like your money. They they could even be realizing that they lost you if there's someone from your past. What's the Six of Wands for what this person? Ugh. Two of Pentacles reversed. Chow. They don't want to be broke no more. I'm telling you. Ten of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, and they see you as somebody who works hard. Be mindful that you don't have somebody trying to uh, be romantically involved with you and leech off of you because they see you making money or getting attention. What's the Six of Wands with this Ten of Pentacles? Hierophant is coming out sideways as it was turning in reverse. It came out like this. You get what I'm saying? Wow. So they don't want a long-term commitment. They may just want short-term situations, but then the Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody who's trying to make you think that they want something long-term, but they really don't want something long-term. And I feel like they want to benefit off of your success, your clout, your finances, your living situation, your money, things like that. They want some type of unconventional relationship. Where they're able to benefit off of what you have, but they don't have to give 
the same amount that you give. Someone is very charismatic. Someone is trying to finesse as if they want this, you know, Knight of Pentacles. You know what I'm saying? But it's someone from their past that either rejected them or that doesn't want them anymore. And that's the reason why they're coming towards you. Or... I don't know, but they have feelings for you. They're going to take some type of action to express their feelings towards you, but something else has just ended in their life. They're going to try to come and give to you now because they can't give to the other situation or the other situation is not given to them. And they see you as someone who would be nurturing and loving and take care of them and things like that. So they want to move really quickly towards this with you. But, uh... It's like they're secretly hoping that someone from their past regrets. <clears throat> they're secretly hoping that someone from their past wakes up and realizes that they lost this person and then regrets it and then comes back and they get back to It's kind of like a situation where they're keeping you as like a placeholder. Okay, so what's hidden? What's hidden? The star? And then the nine of cups came out with it. You see what I'm saying? That this person is hoping to get what they want. They feel like, I don't know. It's, listen. <sighs> They're putting a lot into this situation to get what they want. And it's a very arrogant smug, like, oh, I know if I do this and this and that, then I'm going to get what I want with Collective. Chariot and the Three of Swords. They're coming towards you with pain. They're unhealed. They're leaving a situation that's uncomfortable and bringing the pain with them because they want, I guess they want you to help heal them. I don't know. Feels like somebody, yeah, seven of cups. This person is creating illusions, delusions. They may even have other options of people who they tried this with. They're com they're coming towards you in the hopes of communicating in a way that King of Cups, very charismatic, in a way where they can kind of like manipulate the situation to getting what they want. It's like they want you to see them as someone that you've been hoping for. They want you to see them as someone who you've been praying for. Yeah, and the magician here with the Seven of Cups. I also feel like somebody could be using like the silent treatment or some type of like, I'm not going to talk to you for a while and see what you do type of thing to like manipulate you. But remember, it's because they want to stop juggling. It's because they want to have more financial security. This person is not able to handle everything that they have to handle. So what's the advice? For the collective in this situation. Jeez. The wheel of fortune in reverse. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Hangman, definitely do not move forward with this because it feels like a skiggity, skiddy, skiggity scam. Skiggity scams. Quagmire type energy. Don't get stuck on this person. <laughs> yeah, seven of wands, protect yourself. And the four of wands. You don't see that. You you may not be seeing that you need to protect yourself or defend yourself or someone is trying to catch you off guard. Someone is trying to catch you in a vulnerable situation or someone is trying to take advantage of your vulnerability. You can see this person a mile away. You can see through this person. So don't be dumb. Don't be stupid. Don't choose to ignore things. Because I feel like it's going to not be good if you do that. Okay. What's the Wheel of Fortune reverse in the hangman? <gasps> the high priestess in the sun, y'all. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, use your intuition to see clearly that something is not going anywhere or that someone doesn't want you to have clarity. It like it feels like whoever this is just does not want you to have clarity. They want you to be dumb and stupid, but see, your intuition is not going to let that happen. I feel like you're okay with the hangman. I mean, yeah, with, well, with the sun, the high priestess, the wheel of fortune reverse and the hangman, it feels like you already see clearly through this person. Like I said, and you're already planning on not moving forward with them. You're already planning on like creating a boundary or protecting yourself from this person, or you've already taken action steps to do so. So that you can stay focused on accomplishing your goal. And that's what I was kind of picking up in the beginning. Like you guys don't want to let anybody or anything ruin like what you have going on. Yeah, because you already peeping game. Page of Swords, Queen of Swords. This person is like, you sunning this bitch. You sunning this person, whoever this is. You looking at them like, all right, come on. Inexperienced goof. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're looking at them like, as the Queen of Swords, they just got their sword with the Page of Swords, and you like, okay, come on, hit me with your best shot. Let's see. <laughs> yep, and then the Ace of Swords and Temperance. You already know what... I ain't got to tell you nothing. Congratulations on being a beast, okay? Because you can see right through this person. It's like they're just... I don't understand. Like, it's like they, I don't know what they thought. I really don't know what they thought. Cause it kind of feels like they, I don't know. I don't know what it is about people underestimating you child. They see you as an opportunity to help them change their situation. And it's like, I don't know what I, what I would say to you guys though, is a word to the wise and you know, a word to you guys, like, you know, as you move through your life and try to manifest different things into your life, I would just be when I would just be careful of like having those thoughts of, Oh, well, I just, you know, I just want somebody who's going to do things for me and just be mindful of the thoughts that you have when it comes to somebody coming in and saving you. I'm not sure if you're thinking that, or I'm not sure if you even want that. Don't let your pride get in the way and confuse you on what I'm saying. What I'm saying is be mindful of that because it may be innocent on your part. Like it may be a situation where you're just like, dang, I wish I had somebody that could, you know, talk to me at night about my, you know, situation and I could depend on them and they would help me and, this and this and that. And it's fine to want that, but sometimes we subconsciously manifest that to come towards us in the body of another person because it's very reminiscent of like gold digger energy. And I'm not saying that it's not, I'm not saying that you should have a partner who's not able to do those things. But be sure to make it balanced and well-rounded. And, and the way you word it is like, hey, you know, I just want a partner who has their life together and I have my life together and we're able to, you know, expand upon each other's greatness and come together and build. You know, like that's how, the way you word the situation is what could be causing the negative energy to kind of like come towards you because you're subconsciously manifesting a leech because you're thinking from an innocent place that you want someone to help you because you've been the person to always help others. But it's an, it's an innocent thought that spirit can't really differentiate the difference between like energetically. Okay. And I've noticed that a lot too, like in a lot of readings, we'll talk about like people, it's like the victim mentality can materialize as the devil energy, like different energies and different emotions aren't really that different when it comes to the spirit realm or whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's not really that different. So even if you're coming from a place of innocence, and you're coming from a place of genuine authenticity, that energy, no matter what it is, can also resemble another energy that's negative. And it's like, 
justice is blind. So the universe is not going to see the difference. It's just going to feel what it feels. Okay. I hope that made sense. Hmm. That was kind of insightful. <laughs> what else for the collective when it comes to love? Okay, change, not willing to change, able to rise above conflict, better and brighter days. So you want to be the one who's able to rise above the conflict in order to see better and brighter days. If there's someone who's not willing to change, you need to drop them like a bad habit, bitch. Okay, feelings, still very in love, can't get over them, trying to reconcile and renewed, releasing a heavy burden, feeling sexy and alive, enduring despite hardship. Yeah, I feel like whoever this is is trying to reconcile with someone from their past. And they're like maybe rebounding with you or trying to. What else for the collective? Heated in reverse. Explosive temper blowing off some steam too hot to handle. I just feel like you're not going to be upset about anything. Okay. And then we have in love. Yeah, I feel like you just want a love that has peace connected to it. You just want a love that has love connected to it, like balance, peace, happiness, resolution when it comes to like being able to handle things and, you know, getting through things together. So I would just try to recommend that you, well, I would recommend that you try to change the way you verbalize it okay either in your prayers your manifestations your journaling whatever challenges feeling overwhelmed being needy and holding on take it one day at a time yeah that's what i'm saying somebody's feeling overwhelmed you know trying to take it one day at a time but you have to be careful because that desire it's like you know, you may think, okay, someone comes at you meet this. It's like you're in this position where it's like, oh my God, I just need help. I just want help. I just want somebody to help me. I'm just so exhausted. I'm tired. And you being in that energy, you go out and meet someone who's in the same position. And it's like, y'all, then y'all can't really help each other. But if you go out and you're like, I just want to spread love and, you know, I want to build with somebody. I want to find somebody who I can build with and who wants to build with me. And it's like, then you get a different result. Okay. Protection says, guard your heart. Wait before dating again, coming out of your shell. So, yeah, if you've just broken up with somebody, like I kind of felt this energy where you guys might have just like separated from someone or broken up with someone or kind of like just got out of a situation yeah and it feels like what your spirit team is telling you is like hey you know like you might want to chill out for a little bit you might want to take it one step at a time you might want to not like rush because I don't know. It's like coming out of whatever you're coming out of could have some like residual energy of negativity that you don't want to attract back towards you in a way. Okay. Let's see. What is the advice? Silhouette. When, when that silhouette challenge was going on, what song went with it? With, Went with it. I know it was a Doja Cat Doja Cat song. So you might need to listen to the Doja Cat song. I don't know. What's the advice? How light hope. Jeez, what is with this hope? I feel like some of you guys also need to like say what it is that you want to your spirit team when you pray or whatever. You got to speak it out loud, like specifically. Okay. But it says how light hope yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift of God, which is why we call it present. Yeah. So y'all be in the present moment. Okay. Hematite says devil hell is empty and all the devils are here. Jeez. 
Um, yeah, and Chrysoprase perspective, the difference between hope and despair, which is both of these cards, that's fucking crazy, is a different way of telling stories from the same facts. Yeah. So it's like you got the hope card, the difference between hope and despair is a different way of telling stories from the same facts. Yeah. That's what I was picking up on. So basically like some of you may feel very cynical about love. Some of you may be over it. Some of you are tired and very cautious about it because you're exhausted from being stabbed in the back. But it's like spirit is trying to tell you that your perspective on the situation is really going to determine what you end up receiving as a result energetically okay vibrationally okay so i hope that helped you guys be sure to like and subscribe so you can continue to catch the vibe book your readings today if you want to get a personal it's a really good time because the energy is real high and i'm feeling very intuitive i appreciate you guys be open-minded click the link below get on the calendar today y'all and you know put your favorite color hearts in the comments share this with someone who you think may need to hear it and i'll see you guys 